What's going on, BSG? So today, we're going to get started on the 2009 Silverado Experience. What I mean by experience, I got new carpet. I want to do something with that. I need to uh, fix up my uh, uh, charging port. Uh, and I have windows regulators. I don't need these pieces here, but the actual track itself is, needs to be replaced. That's what those boxes are for. And we got a little box there. And I got another box somewhere else. But all this stuff is coming out here. So let's get started. So let me set y'all up here. And let me see here. What's in this stinking box here? Oh, it's an empty box. So, all right, so. Let me set y'all up here. All right. So. All right. I need to get this piece here out. See, I got this in here to hold my window up because it's falling down. I don't have no tools yet, so I don't know exactly what all I need. But I do know, uh, I thought this, if I can remember right, that this, this here popped off. Yes. Those pop off. This here gotta come out. And then we can get this off. So let me go get a screwdriver. Push that up. Hopefully that grip. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna be a little monster right now, right? Ah, uh, I forgot. You got some shit right there. Okay, let me go get extension. Here we go. Crap flying out. All right, so let's see if we can get this here. There we go. Let's peel this here stuff back. Be careful when you're doing this, man, because uh, you need this this black strip here on the back. You need it. So it's still back on here. So be careful when, you pick, when you're pushing this off.
what I'm doing here. Let me turn it down a bit. Just how you see it, man, you want this, this, uh, that black sticky stuff to stay on there, all right? As a matter of fact, let me throw this in here before I want to blow everywhere. All right, so let me see here. Which one is this here? Driver side, passenger side. Already opened one of these. Let's see here. What is this one? You don't say. All right, guys. So let's get a closer look at what's, what we got going here. So we have screw here, screw here, which holds this window. We have this piece here, which holds this rail, and then these two down here holds that. And then we got this screw right here that holds the wiper motor. As you can see, the wire has come all crazy, un unhooked and everything. So we probably could have just put it back on, but this here, this stuff here been been here since the beginning of time. So for me, there's no brainer to go with new stuff. All right, so with that being said, this here is the exact same deal. Facing the same way and everything. We just have to just swap everything out. Now, I think I'm gonna wait right here to do these until I get it down here because this glass will fall out. I don't want it to fall out like that. Uh, as we see, I think, I don't even know how to take this out. Maybe I can pull this here out and pull the glass straight out. But I'm trying to see, do I really want to do that? And I really don't think I do. I don't think I do, so. I'm not. So I'm going to try my best to. That ain't right. Here we go. That ain't right neither. Oh, yeah, it is. The glass. It goes against the glass right there. Yes, I'm hoping it goes against the glass. Yeah, I do, because the rest of those cushions there. I'm sorry about flipping y'all upside down, y'all. All right, guys, let me show you how this thing actually works. All right. So this, so you can see how exactly how this thing messed up. So this cable go down here, through there, and it slides up to there. This here cable pulls out, goes around here, and goes down into here. Like this bottom one is attached here, but as you see down in there, you see how it's it's been opened up. Can you can you see right down in here? You see down in there? You see how that thing has kind of uh, pried itself loose? So, yeah. This thing here, matter of fact, I want to say that it broke. Yep, and this cable here is jammed up in here so it won't come out. So, yeah, that's no good. And that thing took me a minute to get out, y'all. No bull crap until I figured out that I had to uh, slide this piece here up so let's okay now it's gonna go back in here like that but we also got another problem too but I'm gonna bring you out of that here maybe not maybe not maybe not we look at it again maybe not my plugs are looking a little bit different but they might still plug in all right guys so 
window is back operational i'm gonna show you in a minute but remember you need these those two to hold the window this one for the uh actual channel regulator which has the regulator on it window regulator there go that one that bolts directly to the window regulator hold it in place and it, this bottom one here is for the um bottom of the channel to hold it in place now let me show you this now you cannot operate this panel for this window without this being plugged up okay so look Going back up. <clears throat> Alright, so now so one thing that I'm not sure of, and that's this piece being in the correct way. So, which I think it is. I honestly think it is. It just keeps coming up. But that was a quick video of changing out the regulator. I'm gonna do the other side, but y'all don't need to see that. I already showed it to you, so uh, this is gonna end this video. So like, comment, subscribe, and we're gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace.